The Creative Process, Part 1, Grade 9 Visual Arts, Mrs. Kivas. For this assignment, we are working on the challenging and inspiring to exploring and experimenting of the creative process. Your challenge, what can Canadians learn from Norvell Morisot? So, challenging and inspiring. This is our first uh, stage that we're going to be working through. We've been learning about Norvell Morisot, so I want you to use him as your center, and I want you to respond um, to what we've learned about him uh, and, and kind of pick your focus. For me, I want to know what can I learn from him. So I brainstormed some different ideas from the, the things that we've looked at this week. Um, and you'll see, I am just randomly scribbling them down because you're going to find as you go that your first ideas aren't always your best ones or that you're going to want to combine things from down the list with earlier things. So if you kind of get it all down, you can see it. Some people like to use writing, some people draw sketches, different people, different strategies. Use the one that works for you. So once you are done your main, um, your main writing down things, I want you to go into Ed's B and answer question two with one to two sentences about what kind of ideas you came up through that inspiration and through the challenge. Are there things you liked? Are there things you, you're looking forward to? Did something come to you right away? Or are you gonna have to work this one through? Then you're going to move on to the next part. Refer back to your challenging, inspiring notes. Now we're into imagining and generating. This is now starting to get into some more concrete ideas of what are you going to do with that inspiration. So we've looked at Norvell Moore, so I came up with kind of the rough idea. I wanted to talk about grandparents passing on information. Um, so I'm just kind of generating ideas on how I can communicate that idea of passing information on through the generations. What, what method do I want to use? What could I do a sculpture? Could I paint? Kind of all those, everything's, everything's open at this point and you're kind of starting to just get ideas down. Do not cut things out at this point. Um, some people will do those brainstorm webs, some people will do thumbnails, some people will mix them up and you'll see that I kind of mix up notes with thumbnails and then I write all over the thumbnail as well. And that's how I generate the beginning of my idea. Yeah, I'm still writing. I know, I'm so sorry. I had lots to write on this one because I found it so interesting. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, there's my thumbnail and I kind of keep adding to it and I add notes to it. Um, and even as I made the thumbnail, ideas came to me as I went. Um, after I put these little people in, I, it dawns on me that this eye that I was creating of the older generation looking at the younger generation could actually be turned into kind of a hillside view with the sunset. Um, and that's kind of actually where I kept going with that. Of course, again, write your one to two sentences, this time for question three, imagining and generating. Um, just talk to me about what kind of ideas you came up with and what you think's really gonna work for you. After we do that, we need to now plan and focus. For some of you, this is gonna be so easy because you're gonna have a clear vision of which way you wanna go. If you're still not sure, this this can be difficult. It's like, do you wanna paint? Do you wanna do pencil crayons? Do you have paint and pencil crayons? If not, what else can you use? Um, and you kinda of have, to, it's almost like creating a shopping list and creating a schedule of how you're going to do this. Um, and you're just boiling it down into the nitty gritty. So all those great ideas that you generated in the stage ahead, now you need to boil it down to something practical that you know that you can follow through on or that you can at least try to follow through on. So as you'll see here, I, I mean, Play-Doh was my last thought and then I went, hmm, hey, Play-Doh, I can make Play-Doh with the stuff I have here at home. So then 
I know. Back to Edsby. Question four. Write one to two sentences for planning and focusing. What did you come up with? For me, I, I talked about how I'm going to try Play-Doh out for a 3D sculpture for this idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. And that's where we land into exploring and experimenting. And this is where it starts to get fun, guys. This beginning stuff is just kind of the foundation of your idea. So I found a YouTube video with a recipe that was super easy, mixed it up, and now you're going to see that this is just trying different things out. Um, first, I take all these balls of dough and I mix them with food coloring and I get food coloring all over my hands and find out that that was actually a challenge right there because um, I was transferring my colors from one to the next and then started to shape it out seeing what I liked how you know how to do those layers of the eye um, and still stay true to the eye and then I thought hmm I'm kind of flat here let's try three-dimensional and even when I even when I stood it up, it was like, hmm, you're still kind of flat, see? And then, this is where question one comes in. Throughout, feedback and reflection. Um, you can either give yourself feedback if you don't have anyone else around, or ask brothers, sisters, parents, anyone who you have in your household can come and give you some feedback and just throw some quick notes in question one about what that feedback was and for me one of the ones was that this was all very flat even though I'm dealing with sculpturing it was very flat so I took it all apart and I thought well obviously I want to do a flat image of this and I thought let's try some paint and I just happened to have some cheap craft paint around the house I know you're all shocked and I started to just do some finger painting something that I have fingers and uh, started to fill it in and I have to admit this was I actually preferred the painting over the sculpture I thought it captured that sense of family better which was right back to the central focus and this is where writing back into Edsby I would I would talk about how my experiments went and what in the next step I am going to use so that experimentation you're not doing final projects work you're just doing is can this work? So next week we will continue going through the creative process um, and we'll continue right into the preliminary uh, products. You guys have a great weekend and we'll, we'll see what comes out of this.